In this lecture, we'll be discussing about labor unions or trade unions. One important factor that we have to consider here is that an important unions act, that is the Trade Unions Act that was passed in 1926 is of very great importance when we talk about trade unions. So what are these trade unions actually? These are nothing but organizations, okay? Organizations where the members are the workers from various fields and they work for the common interest of the members, that is of each other. You must have seen it in various movies where there is a, an industry or a factory and there are a lot of workers who are working there and when the boss uh, tells them that you will not get your salary this month or we'll be deducting your salary, they all stand by with each other and they form what is known as unions. So what, uh, what, do, what kind of issues they deal with? So they deal with issues like fairness of pay. That means they should be getting uh, good pay. That is what they were promised and at regular intervals. And they should also be getting incentives and that they get good working environment. They are not overworked. And if they are working extra hours, they should be compensated for the same. And extra benefits that are associated with the work, they should be getting that as well. Therefore, the trade unions represent a cluster of workers and act as a link between management, that is the upper level, and the workers who are working for the management or the industry of the company. Right? Now, what are the functions of trade unions? It acts as a medium of communication between the workers and the management. Because the management does not have the time to listen to each and every individual who is working under them. Therefore, a medium is very much required for the communication to take place. Second function, they promote social and economic interests. Social interests could include things like standard of living, that they are giving, getting enough uh, salary, enough benefits that they can maintain a standard of living. Economic benefits, that could be uh, where they have employment conditions, the salary is good, the salary is regular, etc. It also works to protect the rights and interests of the workers. They provide for better employment conditions so that the workers have safety and security. They work for grievances of wagers. They present a collective voice because it is a union and everything is collective in nature. For example, collective bargaining and negotiations. So they stand by each other during all these tough times. They also fight for benefits like PF, pensions, health welfare, whether or not they are getting health benefits or not. And they provide for participation and representation in management. If there is no voice in the management from the lower level, then the management can use anything against them. They also help in increasing the productivity when the workers know that their interests are safeguarded. They will uh, be better, they will be working in a better way. Trade unions also help in training of the workers and their promotions also. Now, where do they get their funds and what is their source of income? Because in order to work uh, efficiently working something like this an organization if it has to work efficiently it needs funds so the membership uh, the members they provide the membership dues and that is how they work and second is alliance with political parties you see how political parties have also started engaging in trade unions and it helps them in two ways, it's a win-win situation. For the workers, it provides them with the funds to carry on the trade unions. And for the political parties, it gives them an agenda for promotion. Okay. Coming to uh, the advantages of trade unions. What happens is, you see the functions of trade unions are also some of its advantages. But some of the other advantages are you get a support of your colleagues. Okay. Whenever something has happened, the workers know they've got... Someone has got their back. They will be represented. They will be safeguarded. They also provide for assistance in case of emergencies. It could be medical emergencies. It could be some professional dilemma. They provide for amenities. 
the basic amenities or the amenities that are provided in the work environment, they also safeguard that, protecting interests of the workers, settling disputes between the management and the workers. If there are some disputes, the trade unions interferes, they intervene and they settle the dispute. Therefore, the workers have this self-confidence. They have, they know that they will be fought for. Someone is there to help them. And it provides for stability in employment. Because there is a structure, there is an organization which fights for the rights of workers, that means their, their job is safe. Otherwise, the management can do anything with the blink of an eyelid. Now, coming to some of the disadvantages. What are the disadvantages? Sometimes there is a delay in decisions because there are a lot of members. There are so many members and there will be so many viewpoints and opinions. Therefore, sometimes there could be a delay in decisions. Uh, they could also go on strikes. The workers, they go on strikes when their demands are not met and it causes for loss for the management and also for the workers. There could be disputes with the management or internal disputes, that is, among each other because of again the same reason various viewpoints and it could also lead to conflicts because it is not important that the leader of the trade union is always the wise one or who always makes the right decision therefore it could lead to conflicts the leader will say that i know best but the workers may not agree with him so these are what some of the disadvantages now coming to the problems Problems are again internal rivalry is a very big problem because if there is no unity among the trade union uh, members, uh, then it is going to cause bigger problems at the management level. Sometimes trade unions split up because they are not able to continue with the leaders or they are not able to uh, agree with each other and that leads to splitting up. Sometimes they also ignore a few factors like migratory labors. The demands or the needs of the labors who are working on permanent employment and the ones who are migratory labors are very different. Therefore, all the aspects and dimensions have to be taken care of. Other uh, aspects like medical, educational, cultural, these kind of provisions are also seldom missed, which, uh, you know, they account for a big part of the problem of an individual's life, individual's life. And when they are missed, it causes for some kind of trouble. Way ahead. Now, how can these uh, labor unions or trade unions work better? They should organize activities to strengthen the bond. When the bond is strong, then it will not lead to, you know, lead to internal rivalry or splitting up. Medical benefits should be taken care of. It should be included and fought for. There should be an uh, organization of social and cultural events to again strengthen the bonds and for recreational activities it's, uh, uh, as well. Efficient leadership is very important because when the leader is efficient, when the leader is capable, only then the organization can stand strong. A sense of loyalty and belongingness to the community should be there. All the members that are a part of trade unions, they should have a sense of loyalty with each other. They should not be involved with the management and trying to backstab the labor union. And there should be a we feeling and belongingness with the community that we are all together. So I hope you got this. Let us discuss some questions. What is the formal term for unofficial industrial action? Wildcat strike is what is called as unofficial industrial action, which can be taken care by the uh, taken by the industry people. Question number two: Which of these is uh, are the central organization of trade unions with political parties alliance? So I told you uh, there are a lot of political parties who ally with uh, the trade unions and. The central organizations here are Hindu Mazdoor Sabha and Bhartiya Mazdoor Sangh.